Únete a la comunidad de noticias republicanas sin censura y mantente informado con la verdad detrás de las noticias en Estados Unidos. Te esperamos. It's really exciting to be here because I'm proud to be able to stand here and uh, let you know that our great American comeback will begin when we send Joe Biden back to his basement in Delaware. Spends a lot of time as president on vacation. We might as well make it permanent uh, and let him stay. I am excited to be in Iowa because I think that if you look at what we've done in Florida, uh, we've seen a lot of the same bold policies instituted here in Iowa. And that's a testament to the legislators who've worked hard over these recent years. And it's a testament to your governor, Governor Reynolds, uh, who has led. People would sometimes ask me, you know, why aren't other states doing what Florida's doing? We're so excited. I said Iowa's doing what Florida's doing. And so people started to really catch up. You know, I get attention just because the media is always attacking me. So people are always talking about Florida. Uh, but the reality is um, Iowa's really set a great standard. People had said that all the success in Iowa with these great conservative policies makes Iowa uh, the Florida of the North. Well, I don't know, I've been looking at it, it's pretty impressive. Maybe we're the Iowa of the South, but... You know, these elites in D.C. could learn a thing or two about what Iowa's done and the common sense and the conservative values, but instead, Biden and his crew are intent to plunge this country into the abyss. We are going in the wrong direction as a country now. Are you happy with having an open border where millions of illegals are pouring in? Are you happy having an economy where inflation has reduced our standard of living? Are you happy that Biden is trying to stop us from being energy independent and not even producing our own? Are you upset that we have a bureaucracy that is totally out of control. I mean, just think about how this has been weaponized. They will go after people who don't think like them. If Hunter were a Republican, he would have been in jail a long time ago. And we all know that. Are you happy with seeing cities across this country overwhelmed with crime? Now, are you happy to see institution after institution be infected with the woke mind virus? Are you happy that the federal government used its authority to try to impose a biomedical security state on this country with mandates and lockdowns? And if it wasn't for states like Florida and Iowa, they would have gotten away with it. But we had the gall to say no, not on our watch. Se parte del cambio inscribiéndote a nuestro Telegram arroba news de hoy. Te esperamos.